Hey yo, what's up folks? This is Kato here and also my girl. 99. Alright, look here, I know you've been missing us because uh, we've been out here doing some things in the field. Like today, we uh, earlier today we went to the uh, Baltimore Youth Initiative High School and worked on a workshop that we called Broadcast Media. The importance of being the voice for your community. The first thing I want to start off with is to ask you to think about a story from your community, a narrative that you know. Think about how it's been covered in media. So it can be radio, TV, a movie about it, anything that was covered in media, maybe somebody did a blog about it. And I want you to think about how you would have done that differently. And because of what we do, we're, we're having a vision about it. Mm -hmm. You know, so what does it mean like to you to have a vision? Mm -hmm. Visual art has changed my life and to stay focused on that. Because a lot of people go, <laughs> but when you stay focused on something and you have that vision and me getting other artists, uh, finding their works and giving them shows all in Baltimore, D.C., things like that, to go from teaching, leaving teaching, to go back into my love, it, it's, it's a whole journey. And that's why I say sometimes you have to be able to do these things to really know what's important to you in life. And many of y'all can probably remember your first time being on the internet and it was like, good. In the world is this, you know what I'm saying? It felt like leaving the room without ever getting out of your seat. Um, basically, I wanted to learn how to do this. How do you do this? How do you build this webs? How do you, do, you know what I'm saying? How does this work? Well, what am I going to talk about? I can only talk about what I've been doing through all my life, which, which is the community I've been growing up in and the arts that I've been active in. And that's how that whole, be, the subject became on GoGo -Go because GoGo -Go was more than just the music. What's the old saying, youth is wasted on the young? Yeah, because the same, and I remember, and I still got, I still have that drive and everything. Things move just a little, beat a little bit slower, but I still got the same drive. But there's a lot of old heads out here who, sisters and brothers, who want to tell their story and also would like to make a living. I uh, give young people, or give us like advice or help. Um, is to make sure you're having a conversation mm. rather than giving a lecture. Because, mm. um, you know, like, we, like, young people get Also, oh, like you have yeah. an opinion, you don't want to be interrupted. Well, let me tell you about the time of my great We also have an internship program. We just started it, like, this year, 2016. So we send out things to different colleges. I think I'm best when I promote, when I'm saying, yo, to here, why don't you tell them about Right. You know what I mean? And so like you doing that in community for other people. We become right. each other's PR mm -hmm. people. Right. Right. Like I, I think that's an interesting way of being as opposed to as so I think you all are doing that too in your work as mm -hmm. well. What I'm hearing the scene mm -hmm. is you lifting up people who have been important in the culture. Mm -hmm. Right. Hold it now. I used the kind of sector that's focus on making change um, in whatever way that is, whether it's for um, good or bad reasons, whether it's effective or not effective. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to say, we were talking earlier about how certain elements of uh, certain products are commoditized. So just like, you know, I need two community people and a pinch of youth and a little bit of flavor and diversity and out bakes a grant pie that I can get paid off of and I can give you some summer stipends. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Arts and Activism Workshop and Live Broadcast right here in Baltimore, Maryland, as a part of the Youth Initiative High School Workshop. My name is Coley Tingela. I teach a positive social change theater and film program, also do a commentary on public radio, and I'm sitting right next to a dynamic young man, and he'll introduce himself. My name is Aaron Berry. I'm a graduate from the Baltimore Youth Initiative High School, the building we're actually recording this in. And um, I'd say I'm a writer, artist, filmmaker, overall just use those kind of mediums just to show like how I feel on certain things or just personally a story that I like to tell. And so what we just came off of was broadcast media, the importance of being a voice for your community, and what you just heard were some great community voices and uh, we look forward to getting to know them. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. yeah.